Hi, I am Ida Başkin Martin and I will talk about the lab safety rules in human anatomy and physiology laboratories. If you would like to give me feedback, you may either click the like button or leave a comment below. In the anatomy and physiology lab, you will be working with anatomical models, microscope, microscope slides, chemicals, glassware, dissection specimens, and tools to dissect such as scalpels, scissor, forceps. No one wants to have an accident in the lab, so it's imperative to follow safety requirements. Safety requirements or rules start before coming to HMP lab. Make sure to read and sign your lab safety contract and submit your instructor online to able to be accepted to do lab. Some instructors might prefer to present you your contract in the first day of your lab as well. No guests or children allowed in the lab. For their own safety, please make sure to make your own arrangements to have your babysitter at home instead. Bring your photo ID with you on the first day of lab to show who you are to your instructor. Wear closed toe shoes. Never wear sandals or other open toed shoes in the lab. Footwear should always cover the foot completely. Avoid wearing loose clothing, clothing or, and dangling jewelry. Always tie back your hair that is longer than chin length. Make sure wearing your face mask when you come to class. Without mask, you will not be allowed into lab. We do not require lab clothes during lab, but if you have one, feel free to use it. Follow your instructor's lab safety rules during lab. If you do not follow lab safety rules, you are putting the lab at risk of an accident, which may harm you or another person or could damage expensive lab equipment. Use your face mask on the way that covers your nose and mouth at all times. Follow six feet social distancing rules. When you are studying with this dissection specimen, make sure you have gloves and goggles on you. Our college will provide for you gloves and goggles. Know that we are using natural gloves, which they are less allergic than the latex. However, it will be a good practice to inform your instructor if you have severe allergy to nitrile and or latex. Use the filming hood during dissections. Especially if you are pregnant, your smelling senses might be enhanced and may cause you discomfort. Make sure to inform your instructor and ask permission to work under filming hood. Chewing gums, sucking candies, or eating and drinking in the class is prohibited for your and other safety. If you have diabetes or hypoglycemia issues, feel free to inform your instructor in private. You might allow, allow to, be, to have some sugary drinks in your cubby hole. There is too much risk of contaminating your food. You could touch it with a hand that is coated with chemicals or pathogens or set it down on a lab bench that has residue from past experiment um, or having drinks in the lab risks your experiment too. You could spill a drink on your research or lab notebook. Eating and drinking in the lab is a form of distraction. If you are eating, you aren't concentrating on your work. If you are used to drinking liquids in the lab, you might accidentally reach for or drink the wrong liquid. It's very dangerous. Act responsibly in the lab. Don't play mad scientist. Do not point out the scalpel toward each other for fun. But learn how to hold and handle uh, safely. No running or horseplay allowed. No guns or weapons allowed during lab. Also, if you must carry concealed weapon, make sure to take written permit from safety and security office of the college and email it to your instructor before the lab. It is critical to listen, pay attention, and be familiar with all the steps from start to finish before you begin for each lab day. Before acting, 
listen your instructor, understand, then act. Conversation between students should be worth having, an inquiry based and outcomes focused, related with the lesson at the lab. Do not disturb and distract other students talking with each other loudly and lengthy for unrelated matters. The coffee shop talks should belong to coffee shops, not your lab. When you get into the lab, make sure to place your belongings into the cubby holes in the lab. Do not block the hallways putting your backpacks on the floor. Keep your table clean and tidy at all times. No cell phones allowed during labs. However, I may allow at the last 5-10 minutes of the lab to use your phones to take model photos. The cell phones are distractions. In consideration of others who follow you, please clean after yourselves before leaving the room. Use disinfectant and paper towel that we provide to clean the models on your table and the table you are at. Put it in the right places, your microscopes and models, if your instructor tells you to. Wash your hands under running water and soap before leaving. The lab equipment are expensive materials. Handle with care. Learn how to carry a microscope and you learn how to proper use of your models and microscope in the lab. Show proper care. Otherwise, accidents will happen. Nobody wants an accident. What if situations? What if you have a broken glass? Make sure you always follow the proper procedures for disposing lab waste. Throw your trash into the right trash can. If you have regular trash such as paper, water bottle, pen, etc., throw in the plastic, black plastic bag lined trash cans. If you broke glass or any sharp objects, you must use the broken glass trash can instead. Do not pick up the broken glass with your fingers. Use broom and dustbin instead. Remember, solids should always be kept out of the lab sink. Report all injuries, accidents, and broken equipment or glass right away, even if the incident seems small or unimportant. If you have been injured, yell out immediately and as loud as you can to ensure you get help. In the event of a chemical splashing into your eyes or on your skin, immediately flush the affected areas with running water at the eye wash station. The eye wash station is showing here uh, uh, on the right side of the picture. And your eyes should be open and you need to wash at least 20 minutes when your eyes open. Notice, do not pull the triangle handle for fun, but use only if you have spilled chemicals on you, on your skin, so you can wash it out. Know that it will be tremendous amount of water to help you. If you notice any unsafe conditions in the lab, let your supervisor or instructor know as soon as possible. And also, make sure you are aware where are your lab exits and fire alarms. Be sure to read all fire alarm and safety signs and follow the instructions in the event of an accident and emergency. Ensure you are fully aware of your facilities, buildings, evacuation procedures. Make sure you know where your lab safety equipment, including first aid kits, fire extinguisher, eye wash stations, and safety showers is located and how to properly use. And most importantly, don't be afraid to ask for help. It means you are learning. Your instructor dare to teach you. Ask if you need to. I hope you enjoyed and learned the subject we discussed. Feel free to click subscribe button to be aware of the newest videos. Thank you for watching.